For, every, for everything there is a season, a time for every activity under heaven, a time to be born and a time to die, a time to plant and a time to harvest, a time to kill and a time to heal, a time to tear down and a time to build up, a time to cry and a time to laugh, a time to grieve and a time to dance, a time to scatter stones and a time to gather them, a time to embrace and a time to turn away, a time to search and a time to quit, quit searching, a time to keep and a time to throw away, a time to tear and a time to mend, a time to be quiet and a time to speak, a time to love and a time to hate, a time for war and a time for peace. Um, so the theme for Oasis this year was Christmas in summer. That's why we've all dressed up a bit weirdly and we all have our Christmas gear on. Now, during the week, we ran optional moving on sessions. No, they didn't do it. Okay. Well, we had a little jingle for moving on. And they were designed for people to chat and meet with God in a number of different ways and just explore another way of being with God that weren't just those worship sessions. And one of those sessions was a creative session. Um, and simply, we had worship music on, playing. There was space to draw, space to colour, space to be creative in that session. Um, and chat with the leaders if you wanted to, or just be on your own with God. And one of the elements that we asked them to do in that session was this board, which I don't take credit for drawing. Zoe Rose drew it for me, um, and I asked her to do it for me. So if you need anything creative doing, go to Zoe. Um, and this was the board that we had throughout the week for them to colour in. Um, and it says, this is the season, Christmas, and this is the reason. And it just enabled them to really think about, yes, Christmas is great, and yes, Christmas is amazing, but actually, what was the real reason um, behind the season of Christmas? I'll put that there somewhere. I'm not going to hold that the whole time. There we go. And in Christmas season, we often get wrapped up amongst all the materialistic things. You may even think about now if you're really prepared. You might even already have started Christmas presents. If any of you have, then that's very organized. I'm not there yet. And actually, the real reason for Christmas gets a bit lost. And actually, we learned at Oasis during one of our quiet time sessions before breakfast. Yeah, it's quite hard to you a bit hungry before breakfast, but all about the shepherds being the first people to go and see baby Jesus. But during that season, they didn't know the real reason um, that they went to go and see him. They didn't quite grasp it, but they just knew in that moment that they needed to go and see him. And actually, they didn't know at this point the real main reason that Jesus came into this world to die on a cross. And we get so focused on the season and get wrapped up that we can't see the reason, or we might miss the reason that's happening. And this just goes beyond Christmas. So I want you to think about yourself for a minute. I don't know, no one really likes doing that, but think about yourself. And I want to think you think about what season you're in right now. So some of you might be going for a new job or seeking for a new job. Some of you might have illness in your family or yourself. Some of you might be going through financial difficulties and all that's happening right now in that situation in the world. Some of you or the youth will be going into a new school year or you'll be heading off to uni. Or maybe you identify with some of those seasons that Josh mentioned in our reading today. Some of you might be mourning the loss for someone. Or some of you might be searching for something in life. Some of you might just be laughing and actually enjoying life and having a really good time. And some of you might be planting. Now, the image that came into my head when I read this passage was of a house. You might have moved house or planting house. And actually, how amazing that Alison has found her house that she'll be planting herself in when she joins us in just a few weeks' time. Some of those might be the season that you're in. You might be in a completely different season. But actually, some of them are really quite tough. And other them are joyful and pleasant. Some of them might leave you asking God why or getting angry at what season you're in. And some of them might be encouraging and might want you to praise God. But we all have, no matter what season we're in, the same challenge that we find in 1 Thessalonians 5, verse 18. that says, give thanks to God in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. And that's in all circumstances. Is that easy? Not at all. But did Jesus say that we'd have an easy life? Unfortunately, he didn't. But as Zoe preached just a few weeks ago, we need to fix our eyes on Jesus. And giving thanks in all circumstances is just another way that we can put the glasses that she mentioned on and bring God into focus in the situation that we find ourselves in. And sometimes it's really tough to be thankful in those circumstances. 
But when I find it really tough, that's where my Christian friends and supporters and those cheerleaders that we read in the Bible and those witnesses can show us the blessings that actually we do all have in our lives, no matter how swamped they might feel by the situation that we find ourselves in. And Nick shared with us only last week the words from Hebrews um, 13, verse 8, that says, Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and forever. So if he answered prayers back then, if he blessed people back then, if he brought people through their troubles back then, then he will do that again today. Now, you might be asking, well, why does God allow us to go through different seasons? We could all just live in a world where it was great and happy all the time. But actually, just as God is the creator of our lives, he's the creator of the seasons. Now, hands up if your favorite season is winter. Oh, we've only got a few winter fans. Uh, Spring? Oh, a few more spring fans. Uh, Summer? Oh, sorry for you guys, because summer's coming to an end. Um, What about... What have I missed? Autumn! Yay, we've got a few autumn fans. Now, actually, if we didn't have all of those seasons, then we wouldn't appreciate the ones that perhaps we didn't like just as much. Now, I enjoy going skiing, and back in February, my family and I went to Austria for a ski holiday... Now, we're quite used to going, wrapping up really quite cold, putting all our layers on, and going skiing. But actually, when we went back in February, it was a different story. We were wearing T-shirts on the slopes, and it was really quite warm. Now, yes, that's down to global warming, but actually, the heat of the sun (laughs) made me appreciate that actually, I liked the cold when I was skiing, and I liked it to be quite cold. So just as when it's winter, and sometimes... We're looking forward to that um, summer because we've experienced both. And actually, God designed our lives just like that. He designed it in seasons, the good and the not so great. The seasons where it's really quite clear to see the reason and the seasons where it just looks blurry and confusing and there seems no way out. But actually, just as much as we think we want to know the reason for the season, God always does know that reason. And in Romans 8... Um, verse 28, it says, and we know all things. He works for the good of those who love him. So no matter what season we're going through, God knows that reason and it's working for the good of him. Now, sometimes God might share the reason in the moment. You might know quite clearly why you're going through the season that you're going through. And sometimes we might have to wait. Sometimes we might have to wait forever until we meet God in um, eternal heaven and sometimes it might be just a few years later or a few months later but actually through praying and reading the Bible and talking to other Christians God can reveal to us the reasons for the seasons now just recently I've been going through quite a lot over the past years and I've not really understood that reason for the season I've been quite angry at God and quite frustrated but actually Through recently talking to people and praying, he's made it quite clear the reason for the season um, that I've been going through. Now, that doesn't make it any easier to go through the season at that time. But knowing that God still stands with me in every season that we're going through can help you. So as September comes to a, a beginning and the summer holidays come to an end, and as new school year starts, new jobs, everything like that, I want you to know that God knows the reason for the season that you're in right now. Whether it's a good one or a bad one, one that you understand or one that you don't understand, God is there with you. And I want to end with a poem that I'm sure some of you are quite familiar with. Um, And for those of you who are going through a season where you don't quite understand what's happening, I want to talk to you through the Footprints poem. And it says, One night I had a dream. I dreamed I was walking along the beach with the Lord. And across the sky flashed scenes from my life. For each scene, I noticed two sets of footprints in the sand. One belonged to me and the other to the Lord. When the last scene of my life flashed before us, I looked back and only saw one set of footprints in the sand. I noticed that many times along the path of my life, there was only one set of footprints. I also noticed that it happened at the very lowest and saddest times in my life. This really bothered me, and I questioned the Lord about it. Lord, you said that once I decided to follow you, you would walk with me all the way. But I've noticed that during the most troublesome times of my life, there's only one set of footprints. I don't understand why in times when I needed you the most, you should leave me. The Lord replied, my precious, precious child, I love you and I would never, never leave you during your times of trial and suffering. 
When you saw only one set of footprints, it was then that I carried you. Now, I'm going to pray just before the band come up, but actually that poem is an amazing reassurance to us that actually, yes, God does walk with us and carries us through our hard times. So do, God, we thank you today that we can understand that no matter what season we're going through, there is a reason for it, Lord. We pray especially for those who are in a season right now that just looks blurry and unclear. We just pray that you'll put the windscreen wipers on and make it really clear for them to see the way that you're showing them to go. Whether it's really difficult for them to go through that circumstance, we just pray that you will be with them, giving them the guidance that they need. And Lord, we pray for those who are in a really joyful situation, for upcoming things that they're looking forward to, for a new way of life that they're going to, Lord. We just thank you that in those moments, you brought us there, Lord. When we're on the top of the mountain, you brought us there. And when we're in the valleys, we can look up to the one who is with us in those times, Lord. We just pray that as we go from um, this place this afternoon, we can just be with you and you can show us the way to go. Amen.